lock objects are used to synchronize access to the same data by more than one program. Lock objects are used in SAP to avoid the inconsistency at the time of data is being insert slash change into database. The tables in which data records should be locked with a lock request are defined in a lock object together with their key fields. When tables are selected, one table, the primary table, is first selected. Further tables, secondary tables, can also be added using foreign key relationships. The lock argument of a table in the lock object consists of the key fields of the table. The lock argument fields of a lock object are used as input parameters in the function modules for setting and removing locks generated from the lock object definition. When these function modules are called, the table rows to be locked or unlocked are specified by defining certain values in these fields. A lock mode controls whether several users can access data records simultaneously. A lock mode can be assigned separately for each table in lock object. When the lock is set, the corresponding lock entry is stored in the lock table associated with the table. A lock table is stored in the main memory of the Enqueue server, which records the current locks in the SAP system. The lock table is used to manage locks, and stores the record of the owner, type of lock mode used, name of the lock and, the key fields of the table. Every time an Enqueue server receives a request regarding a lock, the SAP system checks the table to determine whether or not the request clashing with an existing lock. If it is clashing, then the request is rejected, else the new lock request is added to the lock table. A lock mechanism is used to synchronize the access of several program to the same set of data. A lock request first generated by program. Then, this lock request goes to the Enqueue server, and finally the lock is created in lock table. The Enqueue server sets the lock, and the program is finally ready to access the data, with the lock object activated for the table. A lock object must be defined in ABAP dictionary. Whenever the lock object is activated, two function modules, ENQUEUE underscore lock object name and DEQUEUE underscore lock object name, are generated. The function module is called the values of the key fields that specify the records to be locked are passed to all the table in lock object. A generic lock is generated if a value is not passed to all the key fields. Depending on the lock mode, the SAP system decides whether the request for lock by another program is accepted or rejected. Hi there. Let me show you how our training courses work in this short sample lesson. Just follow the on-screen instructions. First go to transaction code SE11. The following screen will open. Click on lock object radio button. Enter the lock object name in lock object field starting with E. Click on create button the following screen will open. Enter the short description field. Now click on tables tab the following screen will open. Enter the table name in name field then select the lock mode. Now click on lock parameter tab the following will open. Now save and activate. Automatically two function modules will generate. How to check function module. We can see by go to lock modules. Click on lock modules the following screen will open. End of slide, thank you.